of Election Day for the Georgia primary, one race about 30 miles south of Atlanta drawing some drama. In Henry County, in the race for sheriff, the election board suddenly removed one candidate from the ballot. And then this weekend, another candidate said more than a thousand of his campaign signs were stolen. Atlanta News first reporter Patrick Quinn joins us live from Stockbridge. So Patrick, pa Patrick I should say, turbulence just before the polls open. A lot of turbulence in just a few hours until those polls open tomorrow, Alan. And yes, for the race Democratic primary for the Henry County Sheriff, that's where all this drama is. You see these campaign signs, they are flooding the region. There are two signs here for two of the candidates, but for the last candidate, CJ Madison, his signs aren't here. That's because his signs, he says thousands of them have been stolen. It is very aggravating. In the final hours before the polls open for the primary election, candidate for Henry County Sheriff CJ Madison is restaking campaign signs after he says his were stolen. The individual comes in, pulls into the gas station, comes over with some wire clippers. Madison said over the weekend, 1,500 of his campaign signs were taken from gas stations, street corners, even homes. In this dash cam video acquired by Atlanta News First, early Saturday morning outside his Stockbridge home, you see a white truck pull up rip Madison's banner off its stakes in the front yard. Then a man who lives there runs after the car before it drives off. Madison said he saw this same truck in street video steal signs from dozens of other locations. I myself, I would not be intimidated by somebody trying to stop me from running for office. Signs being stolen isn't the only drama facing the Henry County Sheriff's race. Another candidate, Walter Wolfolk, was suddenly removed from the ballot on Friday, just four days before election day. I'm mad. Don't don't get it twisted. I'm mad as hell. He showed me the county election board's order. Why was he taken off? It says because he got his fingerprints taken, a necessary step of qualifying at the sheriff's office instead of at the probate court. An honest mistake, he said, that cost him a chance to be sheriff. It is very fishy. You don't wait until the last day of early voting and then decide to put a candidate out of the race. Anyone who voted for Wolfolk early, those votes will be thrown out. For Wolfolk, these pre-election issues challenge the integrity of the race and the reputation of the sheriff's office. And tonight we did reach out to all of the candidates in the Democratic primary for Henry County Sheriff. We have yet to hear back from Willie Brown. I just got an update from the current sheriff, Reginald Sk uh, Skandrit. Uh, we'll have his update coming up tonight at 11. Meanwhile, the investigation of the signs being stolen, I'm told Henry County Police, they're leading that investigation. They don't have any arrests at this moment. Live tonight in Henry County, Patrick Quinn, Atlanta News First. Patrick, thank you.